this light. It's so warm. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. Aqua. Then, I wonder if we'll ever be a team again. Looks like all the things that once held us together just push us further away. And now the light has led me here. What am I supposed to do? Was I guided here in order to meet that boy? Oh! Ahoy! We're over here! Riku, race ya! First one to the boat gets to be captain! <laughs> Come on! You call that running? Did you come from the outside world? Huh? Why would you say that? Because nobody lives out here. And I know you're not from the main island. Smart kid. So how about you? What are you doing here? Oh. My friend's dad took us out on the boat. This is where we like to play. But they won't let us row out here by ourselves. Not till we get older. Must be hard, huh? Stuck in one place. I heard once there was a kid who left for good. <laughs> so how did you get here anyway? Is there some reason you're interested in the outside world? Yeah. I want to be strong one day. Like that kid who left. He went to the outside world. I bet he's really strong now. I know it's out there somewhere. The strength that I need. Strength for what? To protect the things that matter. You know, like my friends. Outside this tiny world is a much bigger one. In your hand, take this key. So long as you have the makings, then through this simple act of taking, its wielder you shall one day be, and you will find me, friend. No ocean will contain you then. No more borders around, or below, or above, so long as you champion the ones you love. Riku! Hmm? Come on, hurry it up! 
You gotta keep this a secret, okay? Otherwise, all the magic will wear off. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what was that all about? Uh, you know. Know what? Why won't you tell me? Who was that guy? Somebody you know? Maybe. Oh, there you go again. Just tell me. I really can't. I've got to keep it a secret. Not with me, you don't. I'm like the best secret keeper in the world. Nice try. <laughs> oh, Riku. Protect the things that matter. Right. My friends matter to me, too. So, I still have things that I have to protect. That light. Is it Ben? Master Terra, find me. We must speak at once. Master Xehanort. Master Xehanort, you wish to see me? There is no time to lose. I have terrible news. Ventress has stumbled upon the secrets of his origins. Then? I just saw him. He passed right in front of me. What happened? Ventress is on his way home. If you could have seen the fury in his eyes, I'm certain he's capable of anything. I fear the boy may attempt to force the truth out of Ericus. Master Terra, you must hurry back and see to your friend's safety. Of course. But you must exist no more. Ben! What? Master! Have you gone mad? Terra! I command you, step aside. No! You will not heed your master? I won't! Why do all my attempts to reach you fail? If you don't have it in your heart to obey, then you will have to share Ventus's fate. Enough, Terra! He's right! Quiet! Terra! You may be my master, but I will not let you hurt my friend! Has the darkness taken you, Terra? So, Master Ericus is an interesting fight, because you will, um, it introduces some of the Osaka team's boss fight encounters that are meant to be difficult. This is the first one that will punish you for mashing the X button constantly, so if you just go in and try and just beam them with a bunch of different attacks and just spam, you will die. Also this. 
that right there will kill you quite often. And not in the way that you expect. It's kind of a luck-based thing. If you want to do stuff like R Solemn or any of your cool skills that you get across the game, if you're playing on a difficulty that isn't like normal, or you're not overpowered, you will be punished. I don't necessarily think of it as a good, uh, a, a, a good design choice, where you will go in, you'll do that attack, and Ericus, while mid-attack you're doing yours, will... Th there, there's no hit stun. In Kingdom Hearts 2, for example, whenever you're dealing hits to the enemy, you can go ahead and complete your combo. Here, you don't get much of that. You get a few hits in, and then they say, okay, I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna, like, he'll, he'll auto, he'll auto block a lot of stuff. So, it's generally a bit harder to just go in and layer hits. Like, see, immediately breaks out of certain stuff. The example didn't work well there, because he was kind of letting me go at it. But when you go and do stuff like R. Solum, for example, and you're going in for the attacks, there's a good chance he'll do one of his attacks that involves him putting a lot of, um, like, energy blades around him. And once more in second chance are disabled because you're in the middle of an attack during that. So every hit counts as a new hit in a combo, and you'll just instantly die. It's a bit of a more annoying thing because they they basically make the fight more boring. Because you can't do as many cool attacks because you will be punished for doing them. Because moves like our Solemn lock you into an animation. So, for example, you go in, you a execute this attack and he decides he wants to use his other attack, he is not under hit stun, and you will be punished for it, and you're gonna take a shit ton of damage, and probably die. See, like, that was another risk there, but luckily he went for a uh, more savory type of attack. Basically, it limits the amount of options you have from a combat perspective, which is uh, disappointing, to say the least. Here is his DM desperation move, where he just does beams. It's pretty easy to avoid it. You could just simply do a shot lock, which would help. He also sometimes will do it two times in a row. Why? Because fuck you, that's why. There, he's going to turn it off, so I'm just going to rush toward him. And he's just already ready to go, you know? It's like, um... Usually with the older Kingdom Hearts games, specifically Kingdom Hearts 2, which is this this anomaly. It, it is the standard that everyone knows for the combat system. Uh, followed a specific set of rules on um, enemies doing an attack and then they're left open for a lot of stuff afterward. And here they kind of are to a degree, but the window and the amount of stuff that you can do in that time is significantly lower. And there's a lot of things that they wanted to be high damaging and to be present just for the challenge itself. And it generally makes um, a lot of encounters weaker in every Kingdom Hearts game going forward except for two. I don't hate them, but I'm just kind of like pointing it out. This one, this one's a bit more of an outlier because the game will heavily punish you for using certain moves. Let's go. But we got it. It took me a couple of attempts. And it just comes down to some fights you are forced to take it slow. Just because the game will not allow you to use certain moves. What have I done? Master. I just wanted to keep Ben safe. No. You were right. I failed you, Terra. Perhaps I've no one to blame but myself for the darkness inside you. And now, I've done worse. Raised my keyblade against you and Ventus. My own heart is darkness. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
Master Ericus. What a sight. Why do you trouble yourself with remorse, Master Terra? The man was bent on doing harm to your friend, his own pupil. <laughs> Master Xehanort, why? You know, at times I find your progress quite striking. But you still fall short. Let all that anger out, my boy. Give your heart over to darkness. What do you mean? Still so blind. Then I will make you see. Come to the place where all Keyblade wielders leave their mark on fate. The Keyblade Graveyard. There you will watch your dear Ventus and Aqua meet their ends. And the last light within you will die. Ven, Aqua, I won't let him hurt you. Do for friendship. This is the Keyblade Graveyard, the final world in the game. It's a world of endings, really. Here we have a few chests that we can pick up and basically get ready for the final encounter. Where all three stories converge, everyone has their final battle. So you have another Keyblade that you can use, Chaos Ripper but at the cost of two magic points. It's quite the, quite the cost. As long reach does a little for your magic, but an outstanding boost in strength. Very, very outstanding, in fact. An additional five points. But I'm fine. I'm fine as I am because I like Ends of the Earth. Um, quite a bit. It's one of my favorite designs in the series, so I will stay loyal to that. We're dropping a, a couple of 
a couple of commands are going to move some stuff around here. Um, Brutal Blast just ain't doing it for me. What we need to do is uh, add moves that just have more bite to them. However, we... No, we'll, let's keep Magnega for the moment. Because we're coming up on an air... What am I doing? I, I, I can't... I can't navigate these menus today. I'm going to fucking lose my mind. So, I, I had realized that since I already have saves for the end of this, I actually don't have to get all the stickers in the game. I already have the saves prepped. So I realized that's one less thing I have to do, so we can just get into this here. Obtaining all the stickers and completing them gives you access to the Rhythm Mixer Command style. I find you only re get real use with it um, with one character toward the end of the game during some bonus content. Otherwise, uh, not too much use, really. We won't be using it with Terra, though. So this area is interesting. We have tornadoes. We have to contend with these tornadoes as we make our make our journey to the other side. These tornadoes will force you into combat. Unless you can dash away from them. This is the one time Terra is actually useful because you can very consistently get past them with no trouble. Now here's what I wanted. I want to buy some things that would be useful for our final battle. These things being, uh... Two Kiragas. Want to get that Thunder Surge. Now let's look at what our commands are going to look like after that. Now Kiragas are important because the final fights here are legitimately difficult. To the point where if I cannot do it as I am now, I can load up a better save and do it on that. But I'm thinking, thinking about selling something, then then going like that. So let's sell whatever expensive command I have, Brutal Blast, and then buy another Thunder Surge. Thunder Surge is basically the safest command in the game when it comes to I want to I want to layer in some damage just pop these and then you can you can just go in and, and hit them where it hurts and it le leads you to getting away from the enemy while they're being affected by hit stun anyway this is it to beat Terra story we must proceed further proceed forward and uh, see what destiny has in store and finally see what happened in that whole birth by sleep uh, fate of the unknown secret ending back in Kingdom Hearts 2. This is a game that was built upon one super hype cutscene and built a story around it. And I think, I think it's time to see where it goes. Where part of it goes. This is such a cool... I really hope they reuse the Keyblade Graveyard in... Kingdom Hearts 3 because this is the coolest locale ever. Like, look at this! I can just imagine how this would be used in a... in an HD game. Let's go. I was told the master was struck down. <laughs> yes, that's right. I was stupid and helped saying or do it. <laughs> the master, he tried to hurt Ben. I only fought because I wanted to protect him. But I was tricked. Xehanort set the whole thing up. Also, he could awaken the darkness inside me. You were right, Aqua. And so was the Master. 
I did need to be watched. I went astray, but no more. What else is darkness but hate and rage? Xehanort is feeding the dark fires within you, making you fight. You'll go astray again. Tell me, how does that honor our master's memory, Terra? Xehanort wants me and Benitez to fight. Make some kind of keyblade. But the Master said we can't let that happen. And he tried to destroy me for it. Keyblade? I still don't know exactly what it is. But it scares me to death. Even just the thought of it. Relax, man. We're here, and we're gonna take care of you. <laughs> I may have to fight Vanitas after all. If I do, guys, I... I want you to... The three of us can never be torn apart, all right? I'll always find a way. I'm asking you, as a friend, just put an end to me. Lifeless keys used to be full of power. United with the hearts of their masters. On this barren soil, key blades of light and darkness were locked in combat. As a great keyblade war raged, countless keyblade wielders gave up their lives, all in search of one ultimate key. And it will soon belong to me. Keyblade!
This was a journey you could make. Over the unseen wall that divides darkness and light. And I was not wrong! Terra! My friend, Ven. You tell me, Sayonard. What did you do to him? Why, I did him a favor and freed the darkness inside him. Alas, poor Ventures never have the fortitude for such strenuous trials. Say an It's about time we took on Xanort, as well as Vanitas. Because, like, hey, he's here too, you know? Let's have a nice double fight. You first. If we can manage it. Vanitas has a penchant to teleport around constantly. So, don't be surprised when the game just says, Eh, fuck it. You're not gonna damage him anymore. Vanitas is probably one of the worst designed fights in the series in general as a guy of just randomly just deciding, Hey, I don't want you to hit me anymore. It, he's fun to fight, but he's also kind of broken. I mean, look at some of that shit. Oh god, our cures are not returning much. Oh, that's that has me a little concerned for later parts of this final final battle. That and the constant two slows, similar to uh, Ericus in that respect. Of just like, ah, eh, fuck it, that didn't hit me. Why? Cause fucking I said so. You don't own me. Ah, screw off, Xanord. I have important business. Too slow. Too slow. I'm getting real tired of your shit specifically. I think it's just those perfect dodges, too. Yeah, shit heal. Yeah, that's a good way to describe them. A major shit heal. There. Go take what Ventus owes you, and take Aqua's life. You see how powerless you are to save them. Savor that rage and despair. Let it empower you. You will pay, Xehanort. Was my master? No. My father, Eric, is not enough for you. Leave my friends alone! Yes, boy, that's it. More! Let your whole heart blacken with anger! Here's the showdown. It's time to fight Xehanort properly. One on one. He's got some interesting moves. A lot of his moves are just straight out of stuff you saw him conjure up in the CG cutscene, in the cutscene earlier. Which is ice-based magic lifting up rocks from the earth and summoning a bunch of Keyblades, which we haven't seen him pull off in this fight just yet. You're done. Concede. 
Nah, I'm not <laughs> concede. Like, what a smart way to say give up. Of course, I was about to say, like, I don't think freezing magic is something you use. And then I'm like, oh yeah, in the cutscene he does freeze Ventus, so... It's a different use of it. Oh god! That was neat! He's got combos. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna stay back a little bit here. That could have been bad. Oh god, there's the fucking smoky keyblades. Man, Xehanort, why does your mom let you have hundreds of keyblades? He kinda got caught in the air there. He has an overdramatic fall. That's really, that's really goofy. Oh, it's time to leave. Alright, it's time to finish him off. Uh, those are Keyblades. Not to be confused with Darkness. Damn it. There! Only now have I truly won. and in with a younger, stronger, new one. I swore I would survive and be there to see what awaited beyond the Keyblade War. And now it is your darkness that shall be the arc that sustains me! This heart belongs again to darkness. All worlds begin in darkness, and also end. The heart is no different. Darkness sprouts within it. It grows, consumes it. Such is its nature. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. submits your heart succumbs so why does your mind resist defeat Xehanort and take back your body this is the final boss of Terra's story, and is very difficult, to the point where I've had to load up my, uh, my previous save file just to take him out. 
which includes me having a completely different shot launch, Sonic Shadow, the one you start with. Because, fun fact, um, this boss is... They do an interesting thing with the command deck in Birth by Sleep. They were just learning how they could have you do commands with it, and for this game especially, Xehanort will basically react to every command you do. Watch me hit Thunder Surge. He immediately reacts on the same, at the exact same time. He reads your inputs and then responds in a way that, most of the time, will fuck you. <laughs> shot locks are worse. If you're using a shot lock that shoots projectiles, you'll dash through all of it and you'll deal maybe 5% of, not even 5%, like 2% of the damage you would if all of it hit. On top of that, he takes priority a lot of the time. Um, this is something that a lot of people, that makes a lot of people not like these games as much as Kingdom Hearts 2, because those games were very much about letting both the enemy and yourself have chances to deal long-standing combos and do what you want. And Birth by Sleep, a lot of the time for the end bosses is not about doing what you want at all. <laughs> and you getting in when you can. It's the change in philosophy and just the change of gameplay from a completely different studio. Battle directors, people working on it. Understandable. But I can see why so plenty of people take umbrage with this stuff. I still think these fights are really cool. Feels good that he read my input for our Solum, by the way, and responded by doing his own. It came out first, and then he just hit me out of mine putting mine on cooldown. That stuff, though, bit lame, but you have to fight through it. What's cool about this is we've finally gotten some answers when it comes to the plot. The Xehanort that Sora and his friends know, the one that split apart, is very clearly Terra. You can tell because of the similar hairstyle. And uh, that, that answers the question between the two, a, a tale of two Xehanorts, one young one young and muscular, and one that was an old bald man. Thankfully, all this counts as a combo, so I can just take all of this and not worry about dying. You have to wonder what's a combo, though, because there's a big gap there, but thankfully the game is a bit, a bit lax with that. Ah, oh, feels good to get the whole Arsolum off. Problem, though, he heals. He heals three times in a fight. That is the maximum number of times he can restore his health with a Kiraga. Because really, if he is playing as Terra, Terra healed, why wouldn't he? That is the uh, the logic, though I really hate any, tor any sort of logic that has a boss heal. Just because the dude's so hard, why is he needed? <laughs> Either way, some shot locks will help us layer on damage. And he is healed three times. I'm pretty sure he can't heal anymore. Or that one time I looked it up on Game Facts fucking lied to me. <laughs> Either way, let's continue through this fight. Oh, hold on, he's R soloing. Back up strats. Damn it! I was hoping to do that to avoid these meteors and their damage, but no such luck. Maybe Sonic Blade will help me. Nah, that works. Sonic Blade's a little bit worse in this game than it is in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, just because if you lose your lock, Sonic Blade will cancel itself because it doesn't know where to go. Lock on... You lose your lock a lot in this game. The range is much shorter, which uh, presents problems. Either way, we're doing... We're doing somewhat okay, but he activated a his darkness command style, which I'm not a fan of. Oh, good. He got the combo in mid-heal. So all my heals are on cooldowns. And I am in not in a good spot. Fuck me. I was hoping I could dash away. Again, Terra's not a very great guy to fight. However, he did leave himself open. That helps me. Doing the shot lock's a really good way to get your health back a little bit. 
All right, good blocks on my on my part there. Our uh, cooldowns on our cures are pretty desynced right now, so they're not completely in sync. So we'll always have access to a couple of these. He's also using Ultima Cannon, just like his, uh, just like the super fight it goes. It's basically your ultimate shot lock in, your game, in this game is that cannon. So of course he'd have it. Does an insane amount of damage. We need to get ready to finish this though. And that's it. Very challenging fight. I will see you guys next time, where we start doing this all over again. Aqua, then, one day, I will set this right.